Today, I am going to be showing you a team that is quite different from the usual. Instead of an all-out offensive, high-impact, full offense team, this team is a rather methodical team. But that doesn't mean that it isn't effective. The star of this team is Hasubian Gudra and its absurd defensive stats. Not only that though, but it also has the ability Shell Armor, which prevents it from taking critical hits, which can be very useful against specifically in this season, the Urshifus that are all running out and about. Especially because Urshifu has the move Surging Strikes, which hits for 3 crits guaranteed every single time. This Shell Armor ability will prevent those 3 hits from being critical hits, and also will prevent you from being caught off guard by unlucky crits as well. And by slapping a Rocky Helmet onto Gudra, it also means that any time an opposing Pokemon makes contact with the move against Gudra, they take one-sixth of their maximum health as damage themselves. Once again, perfect for multiple striking moves like Surging Strikes, since each single hit would allow Rocky Helmet to deal damage. Gudra can boost its defenses even further though by using Shelter, which increases its defense stat by two stages, effectively doubling its defense stat, to take even less damage. And if it starts to get low on HP, it can use Life Dew, which heals not only the Gudra itself, but also the partner Pokemon next to it. So if Gudra is faced against two physical attacking Pokemon, and it's allowed to set up for shelters, it is pretty much a guaranteed win, because your opponents cannot do any damage whatsoever, all the while, you can heal up any damage that they do, and even go on the offensive with something like a Body Slam or Heavy Slam. But arguably, you don't even need to attack them, because they'll be doing the damage themselves thanks to that Rocky Helmet chip damage. Now, another way to improve Gudra's survivability is to set up screens, and what better Pokemon to do so than Grimmsnarl, the premier screen setter. Thanks to its ability Prankster, combined with Light Clay, it means that you can halve the physical and or special damage for 8 turns, depending on whether you use Light Screen or Reflect. Alternatively, you can have Grimmsnarl use Fake Out on an opposing Pokemon to make them flinch, which could give Gudra the bit of breathing room that it needs to either set up a shelter or get a heal off. And lastly, Grimmsnarl also has the move Potting Shot, which allows it to decrease the stats of an opposing Pokemon, while also switching out into a different Pokemon. Speaking of lowering stats, you might be wondering, who could Grimmsnarl switch out to when it uses Potting Shot? Well, there are two options. The first of which is Landorus. Aside from having a really great typing in the Ground and Flying type, to avoid a potential ground and or electric move, it can also intimidate the opposing Pokemon on entering the battle, which lowers their attack stats even further by one stage. Sporting an Assault Vest to keep it bulky though, the Landorus can also do some good damage with Rock Slides and Stomping Tantrum. And Landorus too has a switch out move in the form of U-Turn. Now you could U-Turn back out into the Grimmsnarl, or another option is Rillaboom. Rillaboom also provides a lot of support for Gudra by setting up the grassy terrain upon entering thanks to its ability Grassy Surge. This grassy terrain will reduce the damage from earthquakes which could be potentially very damaging to the Gudra, but also it provides another form of healing to the Gudra over time, helping it keep topped up on HP. But Rillaboom's moveset is also very useful in that it also has Fake Out to allow for more flinches to let Gudra set up. And just like the Landorus, Rillaboom also has U-Turn. So you can have Gudra sitting on one side, while on the other side you have these three Pokemon constantly cycling between each other, getting off their fake outs, their parting shots, their intimidates, and what have you. Admittedly though, you do have to be careful when Gudra is up against a special attacker, since Gudra cannot raise its special defense, and the only way to lower the enemy's special attack is with parting shots. So some other Pokemon in the back to consider is an Urshifu of our own. The Rapid Strike Urshifu applies a lot of offensive threat if it is out on the field. It can also absorb some of the focus, since your opponent might think that they have to focus down the Urshifu, which could give Gudra some time to set up with some shelters. Another option is Heatran, who can absorb fire-type moves on switch-in with the Flash Fire ability, which could power it up enough to get rid of any special attackers with its own very bulky and very high damage special attacks. But now that you know the different pieces of this team, let's go ahead and show some battles to see how it works. And by the way, if you like this team and enjoy the video, liking and subscribing would be greatly appreciated as it helps out a lot. But without further ado though, here are the matches. Oh, interesting. I was expecting some more Urshifu teams, that's what this whole team was meant to counter, but I guess... Yeah, this is definitely Trick Room team, like Bronzong, Iron Hands, Fake Out, Trick Room... I can totally see that happening. The issue is, I don't know how I prevent this Trick Room from going up here now. Like I said, this team is all meant to counter the Urshif uh, Urshifu, so not seeing an Urshifu is wild. Also, I... <laughs> At least to me, in Team Select, in that previous match, I could not tell the difference between the Urshifus. Obviously, in the match, you can make a difference, but, uh, yeah. Chien Pao, Ursaluna lead. Does he go for an Ice move and protect? Let's fake out the Chien Pao. Oh, we, can, we can double fake out, actually, which is very funny. Uh, let's instead set up... Uh, reflect. 
And go for a... F oh. Here's the thing, he probably protects, doesn't he? But in case he doesn't... I was gonna say, the, the other team had... Knockoff on the... Uh, Rillaboom. He's not protecting, actually. Hang on a second. Ice Spinner. Do we survive this? We do survive it. Let's get rid of his grassy field, though. The other team had knockoff on Rillaboom, and knocking off his Flame Mob would be really huge here, but... Let's see, Woodhammer. Let's see, Luna. Just insta chaos. Oh, never mind. Maybe it's better than having knockoff. Oh, wow. Let's see then. We do survive that, which is very nice. What comes up next? Yeah, Fake Out was also an option in the Chien Pal. But let's see. If this is Trick Room, well, if he does try and set up Trick Room now, there's not really that much of a concern, right? Because, oh, I guess Garganical's in the back. We can maybe part and shot the Chien Pal and manually switch in. Bring in Hisui and Gudra. Get Rocky Damage, Rocky Damage, uh, onto it. Oh, you're right. I'm parting shotting the Chimpa, which is a dog type. I keep on forgetting about Prankster's little quirks. Uh, let's see though. Ice Spinner with the Syrian Gudra. Yeah, about body damage does Rocky Helmet Chip. Iron Defense. Ah. I can maybe taunt the. Ronzong? Oh no, I don't have taunt on this. Oh my goodness. Uh, in that case, all I can really do is... No, oh, I don't have to... Do I have to set up a light screen? I don't think I do, because... I don't think I have to worry about that. Uh, so let's parting shot. And then go for shelter? Yeah. I imagine he's gonna... S let's see. If he attacks my Hisui and Gudra again... I want to try and bring in my Rillaboom for Taunt onto the Bronzong, but I don't know if I can do that. So let's bring in the Urshifu instead. But don't worry, PC Ronin, I make that exact same mistake a lot. Uh, Circuit Sword, ooh, does a lot of damage. We can go Terra Fairy next turn, though. And let's see. Terra Fairy Life View. I indeed, he's just gonna try and set up. That's why we have the Urshifu for potential or Urshifu for certain strikes through that. It'll ignore his defense boosts. So we can life view here. Chien is gonna KO well slowly KO itself against us. Going Terra Fairy makes us resistant to the Sacred Sword. Bronzong though, with plus four defense, I'm worried about what it can do to us. It might just KO the Urshfu straight up. He might be switching targets and trying to attack Urshfu right now. Alright, let's protect. Interesting. That just gives us a free heal then with Life Dew. Certain Strikes does not do a lot. Probably gonna do about half health if I had to guess. Ah, about 60%. It's actually not that bad. Let's see then. Does he body press us? We are faster than the Bronzong with our... Udo, that's very important to note. We heal up, which is very nice. And body press onto the Hisuvian Gudo. Perfect. That's why we go Terra Fairy. Rocky Helmet also does a lot of damage onto it itself. Now, we can just Surging Strikes Chi and Pao. And honestly, we just life you again. And yeah, he cancels the battle. He he, he had no way to break through the, the Hisuvian Gudra now. So I think he had to, to forfeit there. He would have just died to his own Rocky Helmet chip damage. I, would, I could just constantly life deal up. Which means that if he doesn't attack my Gudra, it's just going to heal up constantly. But then at the same time, if he doesn't attack my Urshifu, it can just Surging Strike its way through. Okay, that is one of the Urshifus. I don't know which one. Potentially slow team with Cresselia, Rillaboom, Ursaluna, and Heatran. But then there's Zapdos as well as Urshifu. Let's just lead with our, our first two. And he's in the back. Zapdos is a bit scary. But having a Landorus as a possible switch in it could be nice. It's also... Uh, I have to get used to what doubles VGC sets have. Because from playing OU on Showdown, I see the Zapdos and I'm like, Oh, it has Heavy Duty Boots, it has uh, Heat Wave, it has Roost, it has Volt Switch. But obviously, I don't think it has that set. Cresselia and... Gortrom? Okay, Rillaboom. 
take out Trick Room? Let's take out his. Uh, yeah, let's take out Cresselia. Just in case. Maybe it. Maybe, maybe. Just maybe. And we just shelter up. Take out the. Ooh, faking out the Gudra. We do get some nice chip damage with Rocky Helmet. I imagine this might be. Covert Cloak? Oh no. So we do just get. Uh, we just clap each other for fun. I do wonder if he's trying to set up a trick room here, though. If he does, I'm not really too concerned about that, because this team isn't exactly the fastest, right? But then again, his team has the Ursaluna, which is kind of scary. Uh, so... Let's go reflect... Plus shelter. I have seen a Rocky Helmet Zapdos before, though, with Hurricane... Yeah, actually, I have seen that exact set. Zapdos, Hurricane... Uh... Tailwind. Roost. Is this going to be Ursaluna and then Trick Room as well? Because if it is, our best bet is to try... Yep, it's Ursaluna. This guarantees the Flame Wall proc. And let's see... Yep, there's Trick Room. Oh! Well, here's our, here's our option. We can try and lower down its attack by parting shot into uh, Landorus for Intimidate. Facade into... or even Earthquake might be a, a scary option here. I think we have to Shelter. We can parting shot, lower its attack, bring in Landorus, lower its attack again, dodge a possible Earthquake. I imagine he's using Earthquake and not uh, Facade here, because he probably sees... Oh, if it is Earthquake, that's actually a very scary for Hisubi and Gudra, which is Steel Terra. Or Steel Type. And he's absolutely going to be using, yeah, Earthquake because of the fact that he has Cressidia next to it. I absolutely should have gone Terra Fairy. Uh, uh, Terra Normal? Is he going to use Facade? Interesting. Oh, yeah, yeah we do have Grassy Terrain up, so Earthquake. Earthquake does get reduced damage, right, in Grassy Terrain. We lower its attack. We can bring in Landorus, lower its attack again. With Intimidate. If he lets me, or if I survive this, I can then U-turn. Oh no, I can't really U-turn. He is going to use Earthquake. Then in that case, we might survive this? Oh yeah, Whoa, 10 damage. Wait, it did, it did get burned by Flame Orb, right? This does, this is the, this is the, uh, Guts, Flame Orb, one, right? And Assault Vest means we take no damage from that. Yeah, it was burned already, so... Interesting. In that case, we can U-turn the Cresselia. Being slower is actually kind of nice, because... Or oh, being faster is kind of nice, because that means that we can U-turn safely, bring in the... Uh, what is he called? Grimmsnarl, without any worries about getting hit by anything. We have plus two defense. I think we can go on the offensive here. Body press, the Ursaluna. Protect. Oh, we don't switch out then. That's fine. The sword. This probably KOs the Landorus. Oh, never mind. The, the, the parting shot intimidates are actually huge. And the body press is even huger. Oh my goodness. The big Gudra dropping its big body on it. The Ursaluna. The Battle of the Hisubian Monsters. U-turn means that we, doesn't, we don't switch out. He probably brings in Rillaboom here. This can fake out. Moonblast we don't really have to worry about because... We saw how little damage that did. We can honestly just body press our way to victory now. He does still have... Okay, he does bring out Rillaboom. Fake out most likely, if I had to guess. In which case, let me honestly switch in... How many turns left of Reflect do I have? Oh right, we also have Reflect. That's probably also why we take so little damage. So, let us bring in the Grimmsnarl, go for Body Press, yeah, Body Press to the Rillaboom. Yeah, Hard Switch, yeah, he's definitely going to Spake Out. So, ooh, he's withdrawing Cresselia as well. Zapdos coming in. Probably because Trick Room is about to end, so he wants to switch this out here. We can Fake Out the Zapdos after this turn. Yep, Fake Out. Rocky Helmet getting so much mileage, does quite a bit of chip damage onto the... Uh, Rillaboom. And thanks to his Grossy Surge, we are back up to full health on uh, our Gudra. It does disappear now, though. Trick Room is up for one more turn. So let's fake out the Zapdos. Go Body Press. 
the Rillaboom. We can set up a reflect after this as well, or a light screen, sorry, because that Zapdos is obviously definitely a special attacker. Let's see, what does he probably do here? He probably goes... Well, it doesn't matter what Zapdos does, but he probably goes Woodhammer? Oh, Static Zapdos. Interesting. Uh, does he have Rocky Helmet as well? No. Yes, Rocky Helmet. Okay. We body press because we're under Trick Room. It does not KO, but let's see. Drum beating. Who does he use this on? The Grimstall. Okay. Uh, speed does drop. Trick Room ends here. Dimensions return to normal. We can go for Light Screen. Just go Heavy Slam or... Oh. Just body press our way through. Let's body press the Zapdos, see how much damage it does. Thunderbolts. Oh my goodness. His Simeon Guru is built like a tank. Knock off. Ah, I mean, the Rocky Helmet does it get the KO at least? Yes, it does. The very last moment. He probably should have just drum beating instead. Body press does a decent chunk to Zapdos for being not very effective. Rocky Helmet does a, actually quite a bit of damage though, not gonna lie. But, uh, he doesn't do too much damage to us. He can go for, what is it called? Oh, he does still have Cresselia, actually. Oh, I forgot about that. Uh, so in that case, let's parting shot the Zapdos and heal up with life, dude. Parting shot, we can bring in... Honestly, we can bring in Landorus and heal him up with uh, our life, dude, as well. Once he comes in. The funny option would be bring in, uh, <laughs> constantly cycle between Rillaboom and Grimmsnarl and just constantly fake out. Intimidate doesn't mean much here, but... Thunderbolt shouldn't do too much. Yeah, 10 damage. Moonblast as well into us. 15 damage. A whole 25 points of damage to us. Life D will heal. How much does it heal up? All of that and more. <laughs> as well as the Landorus heals up. So now we can just go Rock Slide. Plus... Would Heavy Slam do... Actually no, Cresselia is quite heavy. Uh, so honestly, let's just life you instead. We can stall this out and... <laughs> yeah, I think he realized the battle was over. It may not be fast and furious like the Urshifu Tornadoes combo, but boy is it effective.